Hey guys, Jason here from showandrew.ca. Thanks for uh, checking in. Special day today. I am in uh, Gardena, California. Uh, Going to be doing our 45-minute session today uh, from Sensei Ihachi Ota's uh, dojo. Uh, if you guys don't know, Sensei Ihachi Ota, 10th degree uh, black belt in Matsubashi Shonru from Okinawa and is the founder of the SKKA or the Shonru Karate and Kabuto Association and uh, has been my, uh, my sensei for many, many years. So super happy to be down here in California. I uh, came down for a seminar uh, on the week, over the weekend and staying here for a couple of weeks to kind of soak in a little bit of the California life uh, and we've been having a, a great time so far. So please uh, check out uh, all of our videos on the YouTube channel and uh, leave a comment at the bottom, let me know what you think and I hope, hopefully I have some time to kick off uh, another workout. Uh, we're heading up to Malibu actually uh, today and then from there up towards San Francisco over the next week and a half. So. Hopefully uh, we'll have uh, an opportunity to uh, film a workout at another interesting location. Okay, so before we, uh, before we waste any more time, let's go ahead and get started. That's good enough. Okay, we're just going to bow in. Hey! All right, let's we'll start by working out uh, the lower body. We'll get warmed up. Okay, so we're just going to do these little light little knee bends with a kick. Okay, I'm kicking with my right leg. Itch. Knee. Sun. Sheep, nice and light. Go. Heck. Good, and switching now, pumping with the left, or sorry, the right kicking with the left. Itch. Knee, nice and easy. Sun. Sheep. Go. Heck. Sit. Good. Itch. Coop. Choop. Good, and then right from here, just sort of grabbing that, uh, grabbing that ankle, and we're just sort of stretching that thigh, holding that. I like to bounce up and down a little bit on the other leg, just to get the other joints kind of, and the other leg sort of getting them warmed up a little bit. Knee. So then right from there, sort of grabbing now, stretching out. Okay, stretching out the uh, the butt. Knee. She. Good. And then switching now over to the other side, right. Knee, sun, she, oh, hook, itch, and then from there, up, itch, knee, sun, she, go, good, shake that out. Okay, right from here, I'm just doing, see, so sort of rotating the hip socket here, nice and easy, each alternating feet, knee, sun, she, Go. Been really fortunate with the weather so far. It's been beautiful every day. Had some time to get down to the beach. That was pretty cool. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Shake that out. And now I'm just sort of coming down, touching the, touching the ground. And then from here, hands on the back, kind of looking up. And down, knee. Sun back, good. <sighs> she. Go. Hook down. It's. <clears throat> good, right from here. Back to uh, just kicking with the, with the right leg. Okay, itch, again, knee, just sun, nice and easy, right? We're not warmed up, she, go, rook, sit, itch, coo, choo, good, and back, itch, with the left now, knee, sun, she, go, rook, it's hutch, coop, two, good. Shake that out. Squats, hands on the hips, nice and deep. It's and up. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Rick. Sit. 
九、十、一、二、三、四、五、Good. Shake that out. Hands on the hips again. Doing these nice, big sort of hip rotations. Each, knee, sun, she, go, look, sit, touch, cue, two, good, each, knee, sun. She go look sit at cue two good down to the towards the ground one last time each and back knee and back sun. Back. That's for a Hihachi Ota special. We're going to squat with our legs wide, come in, legs together, squat, okay, and then back and forth. Each knee, sun, she, go, rook, sit, hatch, ku, ju. Now stepping up with the other side. Each knee. Sun, she, go, work, sit, hat, cue, two. Right from here, arms, big circles each. Knee, sun, she, go, work, sit, hat, cue, two. And backwards, each. Knee, sun, she, go, work, hit, hut, get, to other side, hit, knee, sun, she, go, work, hit, hut, get, to and the other way, hit, knee, sun, she, go. Rook, hit, hit, two, two, good, and back and forth, hit, knee, sun, she, go, rook, sit, hit, two, two, good, and then right hand across, bridging with the left side, hit, knee, sun, she, go, look, sit, that's cute, two, good, and then now coming across the other way, each, knee, sun, she, go, look, it's, that's cute, two, reaching up behind, other hand on the elbow, and you're sort of just flexing, stretching out to the side, each, knee, Sun, she, go, good, and shake that out. Okay, we'll switch over to the other side now. Each, me, sun, she, go, good. Shake that out. Have these sort of block, punch. Okay, block, punch back and forth, alternating hands. Each, me. Sun, she, nice and light, go, work, it's, it's, two, two, it's, me, sun, she, go, work, it's, it's, two, two, it's, me, sun, she, go, Hook, hits, hits, two, two, hits, knee, up, shake, 
Cool. Okay. It's that's cool. Two. It's just keep going, get into a rhythm. Breathing. Circles both on each knee. Sun. She. Go. Other direction each. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Head to the side each. Back and forth. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Hook, feet, that's cute, cute, and then hands on the hips again, squatting, itch coming up, kicking, and we'll alternate feet down again, itch, nice and light knee, sun, she, go, hook, it's cool. good and relax that and breathe okay let's take a quick one minute break grab yourself a drink of water come back and we'll uh, push on hands at the side and hey good job All right, hopefully you've had a chance to grab a quick drink of water. If you're curious about Sensei Ota, uh, there's a really good, uh, we'll call it like a mini documentary on him called Karate Man. It's on YouTube. Uh, it's been on YouTube actually for many years. I can't remember the name of the guy that, that put it together, but uh, it's actually really well done. It uh, contains some uh, interview footage with Sensei Ota talking about uh, the early days and then goes on to talk a little bit about his philosophy around karate training. Uh, and it's got some really cool information. So if that's something you're curious about, check it out on YouTube called Karate Man. Uh, what I'll do actually is I'll, I'll grab a link to that YouTube video and I'll put it in the, uh, the description below uh, and you can uh, check it out. It's a, it's, it's a well-made uh, little documentary, so uh, be sure to, to take a look. Let's uh, get started. Let's have our feet together, hands at the side, and right. Arigato, kajimasu. Okay, let's, uh, again, you know, these exercises, uh, these, th this program that I'm doing really focuses on basic karate technique, okay? Uh, you know, I, I can't stress enough, the more you exercise the basic fundamental techniques, the simple, easy techniques, the better your karate will get overall. Practice, practice, practice is the name of the game. So in light of that, in the spirit of that, we're going to do my favorite, uh, Chu Dan Uke middle block uh, with a punch, uh, counter punch. So the attacks are going to come from the front. You're going to step back with the right foot and you're going to block. It's and then right from this position, you're going to now punch. You're going to punch with that right hand. So it's back, itch, and itch, good. Knee, good. Sun, good. Chi, go. Rock, itch, itch, good. Coop, Jup. Good, and shake that out. We're going to switch to the other side now, stepping back, blocking with the right hand, punching left, back, and punch. Remember to breathe. you got to breathe through these and really try to engage the core, your core muscle group. Try to really engage the glutes. Okay, make sure your feet, you know, you're not just sort of standing on the ground. You're almost sort of with your toes, really, almost trying to grip the floor, right? So let's, let's try that. So it's right, gripping the floor, breathing, executing the technique. Knee, sun, chi, go, work, sit, Good, and shake that out. 
We're going to do the same thing, but we're going to add a punch in case we're going to, we're going to have uh, two punches. Okay. So now, again, let's just switch back to stepping back with the left side. All right, stepping back to the nuke. All right, punch, punch. And don't forget, there's an empe or an elbow happening, right, on the, always on the, uh, the opposite hand of the punch. And you want to remember to put a little bit of oomph into that. In fact, I would say uh, drive, drive it just as, if not harder, than the punch because the, the more you drive that, the crisper and uh, cleaner your punch will be. So you really want to try to have a balance there of the two opposing you know, uh, techniques or techniques moving in, in opposing directions. So step back with the right side block, right, and now punch, right, and really emphasize that empe or that elbow. Itch. Knee. Good. Sun. Shoot. Go. Hit. 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 Coot. Right. See, I'm loaded here, and then fire out. Shoot. Good. And shake that out. We're going to switch to the other side. Doesn't take long to get warmed up in the California heat and the humidity, that's for sure. Stepping back with the left side. Each blocking, right? Punch. And up. Knee. Sun. Right? Sheet. Right? Good. Go. Right? Work. It's right. That's right. Coot right. Joot right. Good. Shake that out. Really good job. We're going to switch now to uh, Jodan Nuke or high block. Okay, but the same principles apply. You want to make sure you're driving with that hikite. You want to make sure that those feet are just gripping the ground ever so slightly. Okay. And <laughs> you want to make sure. That again, you've got that sort of opposing uh, directional uh, techniques. One moving sort of forward as it comes up, the other one moving back, right? I want to try to have it so that they're both sort of at their fully, their, their destination kind of at the same time, okay? So let's try that. So we're stepping back. It's, right, let's just start with the block. It's right. Knee. Right. Sun. She. Go. Work. Right. Hit. Hit. Good. Good. And relax. We're going to switch now to the other side. Okay. Stepping back with the left as I come up. Right, as I come up with that right hand into the final position and the empe hits its final position at roughly the same time. It just makes for a cleaner looking technique, a more efficient technique. Here we go, ready. Hits. Knee. Sun. Shit. Go. Work. It's. That's. Cool. Good. 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 And relax. You'll notice I'm putting a little to my breath. I'm working on breathing right now. It's something that I'm kind of focusing on. Working on not forgetting to breathe. Okay. Not holding my breath during my techniques. And that noise is just sort of my reminder sometimes. Uh, that I am trying to breathe through the technique, okay? Let's add a counter to that. Uh, so we're gonna step back. We're gonna step back with the right leg, Joe Danuke. Okay, and then right from here, I'm gonna do a kick with the right, with the, with the right leg. Okay, and that kick is gonna be sort of right for the belt buckle area, okay? And you're connecting with the ball of the foot, so you gotta pull your toes back and make sure you're making contact with the ball of the foot. Let's try that. 
So itch, right? And then right from here. Good. And you want to try to, just for the form of it, okay, karate does have a certain element of form and, uh, you know, we'll call it infrastructure. Make sure you're trying to hold that position while you're doing, uh, where your hand and your empe, your blocking hand or empe are in this final position. Try to hold it there during your uh, kick just for control, okay? Itch, right? Neat. And back. Itch, right? And back. Sent, right? Shit, right? Go. Okay. It's. That's. Good. Shake that out. We're going to switch to the other side. So now you're stepping back with the left side, and you're going to be kicking with that left leg, right? So I'm sort of stepping back, remembering to breathe, obviously. And then right from here, up, out, boom. Okay, and you can alter the height of that kick a little bit. Try to keep it low. We don't wanna, we don't wanna really do any sort of like, you know, throat kicks or right now or anything like that. We're just, I'd say anything between the, the belly button and the kneecap in height is probably appropriate for what we're trying to accomplish today. So here we go. So back, itch, right, boom, and then back. You see, when I'm in the, when I've returned from my kick, Okay, I've tried to place my foot in roughly the same position that I started in. And the reason why is because from this position, I can easily go again into another technique without having to sort of readjust myself, right? Like for example, let's say, you know, I did the block and then I did the kick and then, you know, I wasn't able to maintain my balance and I sort of like landed out here and I'm kind of in this awkward shape. Before I can go again and do this tech, the, the next count I've got to kind of like readjust myself and then, and then do the technique, which is fine. But where you want to try to get to is, is where you, you know, you're, you're in a, the optimal position here and you kick. And then now from here, if you need it to go again, you can just do that right from that position, okay? So let's try a couple of those. Here we go, seven back to the left foot. Itch, knee, and up. Itch, knee. It's me and up. It's me and up. It's it's good and relax. Good job. Good work. Shake it out. Let's just work those knees a little bit. Feet together. We're gonna come down. I'm sort of crouched, as you can see. I've got my hands on top of my kneecaps, and I'm just sort of working in these sort of half circle motions. Itch, knee, sent, she, go. Brick, you'll start to feel burn right behind the kneecaps. Itch, hutch, coot, Go Good, and shake that out. We'll do a couple more of those. You wanna make sure, you know, the kick, is a, is a ballistic technique. And when your leg is fully extended, you wanna make sure that you're not hyperextending the leg, okay? Uh, working the legs to build the thigh muscles, to build the calf muscles, you know, the back of the thigh up into the glutes, making sure that you're continually working those muscles, exercising those muscles and making them stronger is a great way to make sure that your kick is gonna be more precise, but also that you're not going to injure yourself, right? So have the, uh, put aside the time to make sure that you're, you're getting in proper strength training. Okay, let's do that again. So again, half circles, itch, knee, sun, she, go, look, itch, itch, Good, and relax. Okay, from this position, hands on the hips, we're gonna be stepping out into a uh, runner's stance. So I'm stepping out, coming all the way down and just letting that right kneecap hover just above the ground. Each knee, 
descent, sheet, go and back. And now we're stepping out with the right side, letting that left leg just hover above each knee, descent, sheet, go up. Okay, another one, itch, knee, descent, sheet, go, good, and up, and down one last time. Itch, knee, descent, sheet, go, good. Okay, right from this position, left leg forward, right leg back, we're gonna do crescent kick, inside crescent kick, so it's gonna come into the center, your, your right knee, right leg is coming into the center as opposed to away from the center. Not this way, but in this way, and I'm gonna complete that circular motion, coming up and then bringing the leg back, okay? So just nice and slow, one more time, just for demonstration purposes. Try not to come up on the ball of your foot when you're doing this. Okay, you wanna stay, keep that heel on the ground, right? You're coming up and back, okay? So let's try a couple of those. Ready, nice and slow. Each, keeping that left leg, keeping that foot, that heel on the ground. Knee, sun, she, go, okay, and the other side, same thing, coming in as opposed to away from the center, right, itch, knee, nice and slow, sun, Sheep, go, good, and shake that out. We're gonna switch back to the other side. A little bit faster now with those crescent kicks. Itch, right? Knee, and again, you wanna to get to a point where your foot is landing after you've done the kick. The foot is landing in a position where you can easily kick again without having to make too much of an adjustment. You wanna really try to keep your balance and keep your, uh, your feet, uh, keep control of your legs and your feet and keep them in the optimal position. Each, not gonna happen every time, but it's the goal that you can strive towards. Knee, sun, chi, go. Good, and switching to the other side. Itch, knee, sun, chi. Go. Good, and relax that. Shake that out, really good job. We're gonna take a one minute water break. <sighs> Hands at the side, and right. Arigato, kajimasu. All right, grab a quick drink of water. Okay. Whew. Please subscribe to the channel, okay? Uh, we're picking up new subscribers on the regular basis. Really cool, I had really cool to see everybody coming on board. Uh, different styles. Right, not even karate, different styles of martial arts altogether uh, sort of coming together because these techniques that we're doing are very common across multiple styles of martial art uh, and it, it's really easy to follow along. Okay, if you've never done karate before, this is a great place to start. Okay, we're teaching you basic uh, techniques uh, that you can learn just by following along, watching me following along, and then if you do decide to join a dojo, then uh, you're going in there perhaps armed with a couple of basic techniques that you're going to be familiar with uh, to kind of get you on your way. So thanks so much for everyone's cooperation. Please. Uh, check out all of our videos at shonru.ca. And also, as I was mentioning Sensei Ota earlier, you can check out his website at shonru.com. I'll put uh, the link for that uh, in the description as well. It's got some good content on there about Sensei uh, Ihachi Ota, uh, his background, and uh, his, his dojo here uh, in Gardena, uh, California. So without further ado, uh, let's get started. Let's have our feet together, hands, <coughs> hands at the side, and bow right. Okay, we're going to continue to work uh, some kicks, okay? So let's get right into it. But we're going to do Mwashi area round kick, okay? I'm going to sort of uh, stand back here so you can see what my feet are doing, okay? My target is out front, straight out front of me, okay? Uh, when I come in to do my Mwashi Gary, I want to make sure, I'm going to actually just switch to the other foot, that the foot that I'm standing on, so in this case, my right, my right foot I'm going to be standing on, I want to make sure that I twist that heel all the way around so that it's essentially pointing at my target. That allows my pelvis to open up and allows me to lift that left leg at varying, ele uh, varying elevations uh, to, to kind of kick as high as I'd like to kick, right? So that, there, that's the real key is, is turning that back foot 
while you sort of come into the kick so that you can get that foot out and you can hit that target. So we're going to try a couple of these kicks. We're kicking with the left foot. I'm coming around, kicking, and I'm stepping down. Okay, so let's try that. Ready. Each. Good. And you can vary the height, okay? Knee, right? The idea is to try to land in, in such a way, itch, right, that, that you, you can move again, okay? You're not sort of coming down in a cumbersome manner. You're not returning your feet to the, your, your left foot to the ground sort of out of balance, right? Because then you're vulnerable. You want to get, have control of your kick so that when you come down, you can immediately move on to the next thing, whatever that is, okay? Itch. Knee. Sun. Sheet. Go. Good. And so let's switch to the other side. We're going to kick now with the, with the right leg. Remembering to twist that left leg, that left heel around so that it's pointed towards your target. Okay? Each. Right. Knee. Sun. Sheet. Go. Rook. It's. Good, and relax. Okay, we're going to work the groin a little bit. It's, okay, down elbows on the knees, pushing away from my center. It's stretching out the groin, knee, sun, sheet, go. If you're totally new to this and you've never done Mwashi or roundhouse kick before, all I want you to do is just get that knee up, that if I'm kicking with the right leg, I just want you to do this. Just get into that position, bringing the knee up and rotating that back heel around. You don't even have to throw the kick. You're just working on balance, rotation of that heel. There you go. That's the exercise. If you have been, of course, you know you're sort of coming out into that full kick position. Okay, let's try a couple more. We're kicking with the left leg. And ready. Each. Good. And down. Good. If you have been doing this for a while, you want to get back down on the ground as quickly as possible. You don't want to sort of be, you know, lingering in this position and, you know, think about that. If the, you're standing on one foot, very vulnerable. You want to get back on the ground as quickly as possible so that you can continue. Okay? A couple more. Itch. Knee. Good. And down. Right side, same thing, coming through. Don't forget to rotate that back foot. Itch. Good. I'm changing the heights. Knee. Right, some are up, some are down. I like to keep it versatile. Sun. Sheet. And go. Down, back down in the squat position. Each knee, sun, sheep, go, hook, switch. Right from here, bringing your feet together, okay? Reaching down, grabbing your ankles, and trying to keep those legs locked out, really stretching out the hamstring. Each knee, sun, sheep, go. Now spread spread the feet, shoulder width apart, same thing. Each knee, sun, sheet, go, hook, sit, hit, cue, and you up. Good. Right from here, I'm just going to do a knee, a knee technique, okay? So I'm standing with my left foot forward. I'm going to imagine, if you will, I'm reaching out, I'm grabbing someone by the by the ears. <laughs> it sounds kind of violent, I know, but 
maybe grabbing someone by the ears, grabbing them by the hair if they've got long hair. Maybe they've got a thick jacket on that you can grab the collar, something like that. Uh, anyways, the point is, is you're grabbing this, your opponent, okay? And you're bringing your arms in, you're bringing their head in towards your center. And as you're doing that, the knee is, is of course racing out to meet it. So you're reaching, grabbing, and then it's, you're sort of coming up. One's, one's coming down, one's coming up, and they're sort of colliding in the middle. Okay, so let's try that. Ready, it's right. good. Hands out, grabbing, it's good. Knee, good. Sun, right. She, good. Remember to breathe. Go, good. And switching to the other side. We actually have this technique in one of our katas where we're standing in Zenkusa Dachi stance. Hands come up and we step through. So, interesting little, uh, interesting little technique. Hands out. It's good. And down. Neat. Good. Sun. Good. She. Hands out. Go. Good. Okay. This time we're going to do with a bit of a little little jump in it. Okay, so you're going to do the and you're going to sort of like propel yourself off the ground using your left foot. Okay, so hands to get out. Ready. It's right. Good. Take two steps back. Knee. Right. One, two. Sun. One, two. Ready. She. Good. One, two. Ready. It's good. Stepping back and switching to the other side. Same thing now with the left knee. You're grabbing and sort of propelling yourself off the ground just a little bit. Okay. Here we go. Ready. It's good. And back. Knee. Good. Sun. Good. And I'm changing the elevation of that jump too, right? You can mix it up. I can come straight up if I want, right? Or I can go forward, right? right. Depends on what you want. As long as you're doing it in a controlled fashion. It's good. And relax back down for that stretch again. It's me. Sit. Sit. Go. Sit. It's cute. Two. Awesome job. Okay. Right from here, we're going to have our hands together. Okay, I'm stepping out with the left side. As I do that, I'm looking to the left. I'm looking in the direction that I'm stepping. Okay, and I, as I step out, I cover, right? So I'm starting to move, right? Bringing my arms up, I'm covering, stepping out. Gaidan. Okay, and then back. Okay, so let's try that. Itch. Right. Knee. Sun. I suspect if you've been doing this for a while, you already know how to do this technique. You're adding some speed into it. I'm just sort of giving the, uh, the hand positions for our newer viewers. All right, so I'm stepping, hands in this cover position as I'm looking. Right? Rotate. Empe, right, or elbow, and the block. Okay, let's speed it up a little bit. Ready? It's and back. Me. Good. Sun. Chi. Go. Good. Now stepping out with the other side, right here. And back. It's knee. Good. Sun. A little faster now. Cheeks. 
Go. Rick. It's. That's. Cool. Good hand. Shake that out. Really good job. We're going to continue to just work that groin. So coming down, it's holding it. Knee. Hunt. She. Go. Hook. Sit. That's. Coop. And you. And moving now into uh, feet shoulder width apart. Hamstring stretch. So grabbing those ankles, touching the floor if you can, whatever's comfortable. Itch. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Rick, sit, that's, two, and you, good. And shake that out. Awesome job, everybody. Awesome job. We're just going to breathe as we sort of cool down a little bit as we move into the end of the session. Okay, so let's have our feet shoulder width apart, hands like so. As I breathe in nice and slowly, I kind of raise my hands until I reach the count of three, right? So it's like one, two, three, as I'm breathing in, and then one, two, three. Ready, each. Knee. Each. Knee. It's me. And last one, ready. Each. Awesome, folks. I want to say thank you so much. Thanks for joining me today in Gardena, California at Ihachi Ota's uh, uh, dojo, the sort of home base of the Shonru Karate and Kabuto Association, the SKKA. You can check out uh, Ihachi Ota's website at shonru.com. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave, a, uh, leave a, a comment at the bottom of the video and I will be sure to get back to you. Uh, and hopefully I'll be able to kick off a couple more workouts I'll try to put together another video, whether it's a kata or something while I'm down here in California, because I know you guys have been asking to see a little bit more of that. So thank you so much. And until next time, uh, train hard. And most of all, have fun. That's what it's all about. And I will see you next time. Let's have our feet together, hands at the side, and bow. Right? Thank you so much. And we'll see you next time.